Welcome to the Simba Luna Show. This segment we call Character Reads. So I'm going to be talking about shows that I've recently seen and their characters that I love, hate, and love hate. So this has a lot to do with storyline, plot, characters. Not so much actors because I don't know them people, but we're going to talk about these characters like the real people that they are now because they're in my head. Disclaimer, if you have not seen Survival of the Thickest yet on Netflix, there will be spoilers. First, we start with characters we hate, of course, and number one villain of the show is Jock. Not too much to say here. Jock cheated on the protagonist and is confusing them throughout the course of the show. We hate Jock because we hate cheaters, period. And we also hate people that think that after you cheat, we can mend the relationship. Yikes. Next, we have Henry, who was only on one episode, so it was hard to find a picture. That's my screenshot of him, and don't judge me, my screen is dirty, but that's what he deserves. This is basically Jock 2.0. He's divorced and supposedly co-parenting, but he's very caught up with his ex-wife's dating life. He really screams toxic masculinity because he wanted to assert himself via the talent, I guess, of eating hot wings. And apparently, reading Rainbow and art is not cool. Next, we have characters that we love, hate. And of course we have India. We love, hate India. She's beautiful, she's talented, she is the ex-wife. We love, hate her because in the beginning, she was very independent, very confident. But as soon as her ex-husband came into the picture, it felt like she had to shrink herself and not include her new boyfriend in the relationship with her child because her ex-husband said so. Even though everything about the interaction between her son and her new boyfriend was very positive. She should have told her ex-husband to go fuck off. Next, we have Natasha. We love hate Natasha because she did this iconic, wore this iconic dress, dropped a strap on in a casket. It's really giving mother. But then she was being all needy and doing the rich people thing. So we love hate her. Then we have characters we love. On the winning team is Luca. As far as men go, super sweet and super understanding. It was giving. Really enjoyed seeing Tasha Smith on the screen and not as a um, stereotypical Tyler Perry ghetto black woman. They even made her queer, which was cute. Then we have Khalil, was giving real best friend. We love it. He was doing his whole fuckboy shit, but he turned into a man at the end. It was real cute. And lastly, our protagonist, Mavis. Now, colorism aside, I think it's cool, the comic to sitcom Avenue. She also gives black person who has black parents, even if she's light-skinned. 